right, so today I'm going to show you how to get your phone out of a boot loop. I got this one because the I reset it while it was jailbroken. And um, because of that, it put it in a boot loop and it will not come out of this no matter what. You can't restore it. There's an error every single time you, you try to do it. Um, so what I'm going to show you is a pretty easy way. I've tried a multiple, like literally spent the last five or six hours trying to figure out how to do this. And I figured out the best way, and you have to do it on a Mac. Um, which is the only way I got it successful, um, but so pretty much what it is is you're just boot tethering it. Um, but there is a specific way to do it. Um, I tried editing the file hosts, nothing happened. So I'm gonna show you how to do this really easy way. So um, first of all, what you need to do is you need to download the current uh, IPSW for the phone. Okay, and you can go to I'll put the link in the description, the Felix Bruns website. Uh, the next thing you need to do is download the latest of Red Snow, and um, so after you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to open up Red Snow, and then you're going to go to Extras, and click Select IPSW, and you're going to choose the file that you downloaded. Okay, and it'll say it's identified. Um, I'm doing this one on a 3GS, so if you're doing this on a 3GS, you need to know if you have the earlier model or the later model. The later model will have the new boot ROM, the earlier model will not. So this one does have the new boot ROM, unfortunately, but there's still a way around it. Okay, so after you do this, you're going to go ahead and plug the phone into your computer. You're going to hold the home and the hold button until the phone completely powers off. Okay, now once the phone's off, you're going to hold the power button. Once it turns on, also hold the home button. All right, now once the screen turns off, let go of the hold button and keep holding the home button about 10 seconds. Okay, and there you see something popped up on your computer. You can go ahead and X out of iTunes. And what you're going to do is click just boot. So go ahead and tap that. It's going to go ahead and go into this. And if you don't get it the first time, don't worry about it. But like I said, I did this on Windows. I never got the same result. When I did it on uh, Mac, it worked the first time so I th I'm not exactly sure why but it does work on Mac and so far I haven't had any success with Windows and I haven't read about any success stories with Windows alright so now it's gonna go ahead and boot tether it so it says on the rest is gonna take place on your iPhone Let's go ahead and close out of that I'm just gonna let this load and it's really weird because I tried on a couple different Windows computers I tried on Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows XP two different desktop computers, about four different laptops I tried it on, and then I tried it one time on a MacBook and it worked the very first time. So uh, I'm not exactly sure what, why that happens, but um, as far as I know this is 100% uh, working boot. Um, now your phone for this one already has to be jailbroken, I guess, obviously because you're just boot tethering it. Um, so yeah, it's going to go ahead and restore back to the settings that was on before it crashed. Yeah, just a word of advice, don't ever click reset settings after your phone's jailbroken. I already knew that it was going to do that, but I thought I'd be able to get out of it, and uh, it took a long time until I figured out that it worked on the Mac as easily. And now you're back to the main screen, and as you see, it says that there is no SIM installed, but I'm still going to be able to get into the phone. You're going to go ahead and select like you're starting your phone over from scratch. And then go ahead and disable location services. Do not enable them. Keep it disabled. Then you're going to go ahead and connect to a network. I just typed it in wrong. And then once it connects, you can go ahead and tap next and set up as a new iPhone. Skip the Apple ID. Don't sign in. 
you can sign in after you do this, but don't sign in at the screen. And just agree unless you want to read it, whatever. Click don't send, next. And you can go ahead and use your iPhone. And as you will see, Cydia is still installed. Or if your phone wasn't jailbroken before, Cydia is now installed on your phone. And just show you it's still working right. And this is uh, going to keep it untethered. And so if you ever come across a problem again, now you know what to do. But yeah, it's easily uh, irreversible. And the way this one happened is what I did is I went into settings. And then I clicked reset. Then reset settings. And it just went into a boot loop for five hours. Nothing happened. And then once I used it on the Mac, it worked fine. And like I said also, you can't plug it into iTunes and restore it. It will not allow you to. Uh, I think you can create a custom boot and you might be able to do that, but using like iBooty or whatever, but you can't just restore an iTunes like normal. Yes, yeah, so there you go. The phone is now working just as fine as it was. Everything works the same. And um, that is how you get out of the boot loop. Thanks for watching.